We are under the bright lights tonight as MLB Network welcomes you to this presentation of Major League Baseball. It's game four of the National League Championship Series between the Miami Marlins and the Chicago Cubs. Two great hitters lead their teams to battle next on MLB Network. Matt Hart will be on the mound for game four. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, Matt, last game he pitched six full innings. He looked like he had good stuff. He didn't get a decision, but he gave his team a chance to be in the ball game. I look for a similar performance in this game. Out a boy. Batting four. Center fielder. Number 87. Come on, big guy. See it. Drive it right here. Hey, it's your pitch. Drive it deep. Here we go, baby. First delivery to him on the way. Yeah, not the greatest of starts to the at-bat as he reaches for one out of zone for strike one. Now, I'm sure these infielders know it, but this hitter can burn down the baseline. So if he puts a ground ball in play, the defense is going to have to make a perfect turn to turn two. Almora falls off the left fielder as he takes charge for the second out. Batting second, center fielder, Albert Almora. And, one down now, one down. and the pitch. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Waiting on it, the center fielder. He's got it, and there are two down now. And with two away now, let's give you a look at what's happening in the American League Championship Series as they've got a good matchup going on over there as well. Digging in to try it again. Chris Bryant. He'll try to follow Third up the double in his last at bat with another big Bryant. hit right here. Lifted in the air to center. Center fielder has a beat on it. And that ends the inning. Three up, three down for the Cubs. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Number 87. He's Center 0 for 1 thus far. Number 87. Drive it like you can. Let's go. Hey, let's go, big fella. Into the windup and the pitch. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. With that, the Marlins get a good start to the inning with their leadoff man aboard. Well, there's another hit by him here in the postseason. You talk about impact players. This is how you impact the series, the way he's been swinging the bat. Here's Mark Reynolds. Runner at first to start the inning. And, Dan, when it comes to pitching in the rain, run. what changes? Mark, I think Reynolds. the most difficult part, Matt, is the ball gets slippery. It's hard to keep your hands dry. And if you don't have a good feel in that grip, it's hard to control where you're going to throw the ball. Runner goes for second. Swing and a miss. Strike three. The throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. So they'll have to be content with just the strike out there as the runner's able to get himself into scoring position with one away. Digging in for his second at bat. Daniel Descalzo no batter, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Daniel Descalzo. Comes set and the 0 1. Line drive to left. Oh, and this goes right past him. And they're going to take a 1 0 lead as the run comes across to score. Well, that's the difference between a harmless error and a costly one. With the base is empty, that doesn't hurt that much, but with a man on, that allows a run to score. And now here's the versatile outfielder, Albert Almora Albert Jr. Third Albert trip to the plate Almora. for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. 1 and 2, here it comes. 
This one's blooped out toward right center field. Gordon ranging into the outfield. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So one run on one base hit, the home run. No errors, and no one left. Five innings complete, all tied at one and one. Digging in and looking for more, number 87. He's Leading batting cleanup in this one, but Center we'll fielder. get us started here number in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just the single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. Hit hard to short. Russell has it. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Here's Chris Bryant now. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. Lifted in the air to center field. Number 87 has it, and it's a quick out number one. Ready for another chance. Number 87. He'll hit from the left side of the plate in this matchup. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A swing and a miss on a ball that jammed him. This is the situation where there's a lot of pressure on the infielders if the ball is put in play on the ground. Both the guy at first and at the plate are burners, so a double play is going to be tough. Even getting one out could be a challenge. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. Before the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. And again, a throw and a dive, but he's back. Hey, get your pitch. No one better right now. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? Line towards center field. Almora is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Riding in once again, number 87, number 87, batting from the right side with the southpaw on the mound. Into the windup and the pitch. Line drive to center field, and that's a base hit. He's now two for five in this one. So the top of the ninth keeps a rolling as he comes through with two away. But fortunately, he'll hold on at first with just a single. That was terrific. You always hear, keep your hands inside the baseball. That's a perfect example. The ball was in, and he took it back up the middle. You can't do that if you don't keep your hands inside the baseball. Digging in once again, Mark Reynolds. Looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. Ground ball right side. Rizzo is there, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So a very good outburst here as five runs come across and allow them to take the lead. Part of the order, three, four, and five will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. The Marlins lead this one six to one. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. And there's no better time of year to come up big for your team than in the postseason. And that's exactly what this man did. He's our tops player of the game. And obviously, every game is so important in the postseason. So when you come to play like he did and make a big difference for your team, it's something that won't be forgotten. 
And tonight's comes to a conclusion. Six to one the final. The Miami Marlins take a three games to one series lead and now look to clinch. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB Network. Good night, everybody.